when Chevrolet decided to enter Trans Am racing in 67, while well, their choice was black and white. The SCCA Trans Am Road Racing Series was a hot competition in the late 1960s and participating manufacturers were required to sell consumer level versions of any car allowed to race in Trans Am. Chevrolet's entrant was the new for 1967 Camaro, aimed straight at the Ford Mustang, which had been the playground bully of Trans Am in 66. Chevrolet was technically out of racing at this point, but Chevrolet Promotions Manager Vince Piggins worked closely with the SCCA before the car was even available to make sure that it would have a place in Trans Am racing. The rule book required 1,000 streeters needed to be sold to remain legal, but Chevrolet was able to utilize a loophole to qualify 1967 SS350 Camaros in SCCA Group 1, as well as Z28s in Group 2. And the result was that of those 1,000 required cars, only 602 were 67 z 28 These 602 cars were very special, and when the options were all put together into a package for retail sale, Chevrolet called it Regular Production Option, or RPO code, Z28. And the code name was cool enough for a car name, so it stuck. RPO Z28 added performance goodies all over the car to improve handling, braking, and speed while reducing luxury items to save weight. And that's one of the reasons why this car is unique, because it has a bit of both personalities. Z28s were equipped with one of Chevrolet's most famous V8s, the Solid Cam 302. Chevrolet didn't have a V8 that fit within the 305 cube Trans Am limit, so they crossed a 327 4 inch bore block with the 3 inch stroke of a 283, upfitted it with 11 to 1 compression pistons and a high lift cam, and whammo, instant high revving small block fun that fit in the rule book. They were rated at 290 horsepower, but most agree the high flow intake and heads and heavy breathing 800 CFM Holly Carb were good for far more than that. Z28s were all backed by a Muncie four speed transmission and a 12 bolt rear axle out back for strength and traction. This one stuffed with 373 to one gears. Don't let the small displacement 302 fool you. These 11 to one compression mighty mice spun to 7,000 RPM, making full use of the four speed and 373 rear gear. The power team isn't the only piece of the Z28 puzzle, as the car was the only Camaro to roll on 15-inch wheels, although they were only 6 inches wide. They featured powered disc front brakes, and the suspension system was tuned with stiffer springs and shocks and a traction bar system to help reduce rear wheel hop. Although 67 Z28s had no exterior badges, the dual hood and deck stripes were a dead giveaway as to what you were tangling with. 1967 Camaro Z28s are fascinating cars. Their production and sale allowed Chevrolet to compete in the Trans Am Racing Series. They're loaded with smart part choices, and this one tops it all off with the Rally Sport option. The Rally Sport package adds style to the Z, and it consisted of hideaway headlights and distinctive taillights with the reverse lenses mounted below the rear bumper. Bright trim outlined the bottom of the car with wheel opening and rocker moldings. And this one also features front and rear bumper guards, a black pinstripe, and a vinyl top, all of which contrast nicely against the ermine white paint. Adding even more contrast is the deluxe blue interior. The center four-speed console loaded with gauges and a tilt steering wheel to hang on to in the turns. AC was out of the question on Z28s, as was an automatic trans, so this is a car you drove with both hands. It's a stunning car for sure, and this one runs with its all-born-with numbers-matching parts. 
It may have been used in some Chevrolet promotional material, but there wasn't much of that for the 67Z, which is partially why they didn't sell that many. Man, I sure love the sound of that solid cam 302. So let's see here. What can we bring out next time from the Brothers Collection? I'm not sure, but if you subscribe, you'll be able to find out, and we'll see you next time on Muscle Car of the Week.